fastball, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And gone! Grand slam! So he will touch them all on the grand... What up kids, my name is Baith, and this is my round one entry for Commentator Wars. Today you'll be watching some gameplay of mine from MLB 2011, the show, for PlayStation 3. A uh, little background on myself since I know none of you know who I am. I have a very small channel, uh, 80 subscribers at the making of this video, somewhere around there. I have... Uh, an HD PVR that I got in January so I've only really been making videos for about two and a half months and of those videos probably only five or six commentaries so I'm very new to the scene very new to how this all works but so needless to say when the selection video came out and my name was on the list I was pretty shocked uh, but also at the same time pretty excited and pretty honored that I was selected to be in this I know they had several submissions from people from all over, so to be in the top 32, you know, that in itself is is pretty awesome considering where my channel is right now. But anyways, let's get back to the game. So as I said, this is MLB 11, and what you're watching here is uh, part of my series called Road to the Show. And if you're unfamiliar with the MLB, the show game, Basically, Road to the Show is where you create a character. You place him in a position, so first base, third base, outfield, pitcher, catcher, etc. Um, and then you build their stats by doing things in game, like making defensive plays, getting hits, getting RBIs, and that sort of stuff. Uh, my character is a first baseman. First base gives you more power gives you also more contact um, it's a hitting position whereas if you make a outfielder you're gonna get more stats base stats uh, for fielding uh, catching pop flies that sort of thing so I enjoy the hitting part most of the time especially if you watch my videos you're gonna see that I don't really play defense uh, you can have it where it automatically do defensive plays for you as far as hitting is concerned in this game, they've made a couple improvements. Uh, the biggest improvement, obviously, is the analog hitting. Uh, in previous versions of this game, you would hit, it was all based on timing and location of the pitch. So basically to hit, you pull the right analog stick down uh, to get your backswing, and then you push it forward to follow through on your swing. So basically like Tiger Woods, you pull the stick back to pull your club back and you push it forward to hit the ball. So it's the same idea in MLB, uh, but the big key is uh, your timing. So knowing when the pitch is going to be across the plate when you're doing your follow through. Uh, and I really like it. It's, it's more challenging at first, but once you get used to it, it's so much more natural than just pushing a button. Okay, before I leave, I want to give you a couple tips that uh, I found that will help you become a better hitter in MLB. A lot of complaints with these games is that it gets difficult to hit sometimes. So, a couple of these things uh, help me. So, hopefully, I'll pass them along to you, and it'll help you out as well. So, the first thing is uh, guess pitch. So, with this setting, I always go with quarter. Um, you get the less amount of uh, benefit from picking the pitch correctly, but to me, it's more important to know where the pitch is going to be over getting a slight boost in uh, you know contact or power so I go with quarter and I'll show you what this means in just a couple minutes um, the next thing I like is the hitting view I change to catcher three and what this does is it kind of moves the camera down so it's pointing in the center of the zone so it's a little easier to determine if the pitch is going to be high or low because of your field of view is a little bit better so the normal pit uh, stance is like up above the catcher kind of so it's hard to tell really if a pitch is going to be high or if it's going to come in the strike zone because you're kind of looking down at the plate more compared to catcher three okay so here we are at bat so let's really see what that quarter pitch zone really looks like so as you can see you can choose basically all four corners of the plate so you can check to see if the ball is going to be outside inside high or low 
they all kind of incorporate the middle of the middle of the plate, so you're set there. So what I like to do is pick down in the zone. For me, I I'm a power hitter, so a lot of times you're gonna see pitches down in the zone to try to get you to ground out. So I always pick down in the zone. I also always pick the pitch that's the X button, which typically is a four seam fastball or whatever their flavor of fastball is. Most pitchers you're gonna see have typically one fastball, but there are some that have multiple fastballs, so you have to just be careful of that. But I like to pick fastball all the time because, one, it's the fastest pitch, obviously, so your timing has to be quicker. So if I know if I pick fastball, I have to be ready to swing faster than if I pick something else. So I always pick fastball. Typically, all the other off-speed pitches, then you know to slow down and not swing as fast to keep your timing correct. And for my last batting tip, what I want to show you is before you get up to hit, they're going to show you what the pitcher has done for the day. Obviously, this is still the first inning, so there's not a whole lot of data here. But the key one is balls and strikes. So as you can see here, he's pitched five balls and only one strike. So to me, I know that he doesn't have very much command right now. So I'm going to lay off the first couple pitches, especially if when I pick uh, what zone I want to hit in and it doesn't come up. I'm going to stay away from swinging, especially at the first pitch, unless obviously I pick the correct pitch and it's a good one to hit. So hopefully you guys learned something there. Uh, other than that, this is the end of my video. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank the guys for inviting me to this tournament and check out my channel for more MLB. Thanks a lot.